So we're doing something special this week in honor of Halloween. We're doing something special for Halloween, all we, all we, like last year. But this year, this time, yeah, because you got to wear your gimp suit next week. <laughs> the hell I do. Um, we're doing the uh, normal. What the fuck is wrong with you? Live this week, as always. But immediately thereafter, we have something special for you. We have a special bonus. What the fuckery? Which I. Woo! I think many of you will grok because it's going to hurt. You're it's it, it's I'll just quote you all right now. My childhood. That, that's going to be the entire audience. So. No, not the entire audience. Half no. the audience is going to think it's awesome. Yeah. We'll get there anyway. And a, a, a very small portion of the audience, I, I promise you, will request that I partake in at least one of the things we present later yeah. next week but that's okay because we have our normal awfulness right now are you ready yes okay each week Catherine goes out worldwide interwebs finds all sorts of horrible stuff and brings it back here for a segment we like to call what the fuck is wrong with you and um you know it's it's we're winding up fall pretty soon here in the United States but not Really? Well, another month or so. Winter starts in like December, end of December. Yeah, but in in Australia, they're about they're getting ready to start summer. So this yes. is kind of going to be relevant. If we have any of our down under viewers or New Zealand, we or, don't have any Australian viewers I anymore. I know you pissed them all off. Them all. <laughs> but anyone in any place where it's about to be summer, this is going to kind of affect you. Product recalls are normally a uh, an affair you, you don't want to, to deal with, but they're normally something you can't foresee or test for or just one of those flukes. Mm -hmm. Not this one. Banana boat sunscreen recalled can catch fire on skin. Good news is you won't get a sunburn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a raging chemical burn and or just regular old burn burn well they didn't promise they would protect you from that maker of banana boat sunscreen recalled 23 spray on products friday saying there was a risk they could catch fire on one's skin after reports of five people being burned in the u.s and canada energizer holdings energizer owns sunscreen what the hell's wrong with the world said it was recalling its popular continuous spray sunscreen quote due to a potential risk of product igniting on the skin if contact is made with a source of ignition before the product is completely dry. Like, say, I don't know, the heat of the burning sun. Well, I, don't think, I think if that was enough to ignite it, there would have been a problem long before now. But I think they're talking more like open flame. But um, see, I know the truth behind this story. I know what really happened here. It's the great ginger conspiracy. We want you all to know what it's like to be us. Because the second I walk out the front door without sunscreen on, after about 10 minutes, I look like this. Don't, don't even get me started, I man. I burst into flames if I stay outside for half an hour. So you burst really into flames? Just... Man, I, when I was a kid, the Boy Scouts would follow me around on the beach with marshmallows on sticks, just waiting. You really want to play Who's Whiter with me? Really? Really? I don't think that's a game you're going to win, sir. Milk looks at me and is like, damn, she's white. I'm minty. I'm not even white. I'm like palest to the point where you can see bits yes, inside. But if you were to go outside, you would probably get a tan. No. No, I don't. If I go outside... I immediately burst into flames and it's not because of, you know, I do not get my a terrible demonic hole. It's because I have no pigment in my skin. So this is my point is this is a plot by the great Bond villain esque ginger conspiracy to make you all understand what it's like to be us. You will feel our pain and you will dread the sun as we do. I'm I'm willing to bet this was if, if five people caught the fuck on fire. Well, OK, you're saying maybe not the sun. I don't think your sunscreen should say, please don't smoke while applying sunscreen. 
Yeah. That's the 21st century here now. Remember when you were a kid, you put on sunscreen, come out of a bottle, squeeze it on, and if your if your dad lit up a cigarette, you weren't going to catch on fire. <coughs> Those were the days. <laughs> Back in my day. <laughs> Those were the only th thing that would catch you on fire is your cousin Ramsey. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So next one. Oh, this next one's right up your alley. Um the wheelhouse you're about to climb into. Uh, so uh, we've had robbers who have robbed the bank while it's not open. We've had robbers who've tried to phone in a robbery to, to rob people over the phone. Yes. Yes. Please have the money ready in 10 minutes. That was Connecticut. That was, that was my backyard. Cause we classy like that. But this one, I think this is the first time the guy is going to go on and give a Yelp score about the robbery. Would not rob again. Arthur Brundage, alleged bank robber, came back to complain he was shortchanged. Syracuse, really? New York. Going back to a bank you just ripped off to claim you've been shortchanged isn't likely going to end well. What a first sentence to that article. Patently obvious. What police say led to an arrest Monday. Syracuse police say 28 year old Arthur Bundridge of East Syracuse went to a bank about 9 a.m. and demanded. $20, That's a name $20. straight out of Harry Potter. Arthur Bundridge. Arthur Bundridge. Yeah, I know. When I'm Arthur Bundridge. I have a wand. Cheerio. Good pip. Now you're okay. pissing off England. Stop it. Authorities say a teller initially refused, but then relented and gave him some money even though he never showed a weapon or made a threat, investigators say Bundridge left, but returned when he found he had not been given $20,000. Officers say they found him at the bank's locked front door, trying to get back in. He never showed a weapon. No, never made a threat. Just said, give me $20,000. And the teller did that because maybe the real stupid here isn't that because it worked the first time. <laughs> he was just going off positive reinforcement. Well, last time I walked in and said, give me some money and they did. So if I walk back in and say, give me more money, they will, because obviously this teller is a moron. If you give a mouse a cookie, it'll rob a bank. I mean, yes, like I work retail and we're told, like, don't put your life on the line for the fucking Sephora. Yeah. We can afford it if they take five hundred dollars out of the till. But if some dude just walks in and makes no threat of all. I'm not giving him money. <laughs> but no, I just I love the, the fact that he's standing outside screaming, hey, say 20,000. <laughs> it's not Burger King, a bank robbery. Yeah. You cannot have it your way. Not going to correct your order if they get it wrong. No, they're not. In fact, normally what they're going to do is put an explosive dye pack in your order. They don't do to that Burger King either. Usually, are we sure? Are we sure? I'm not sure. Exactly. Not sure. Like, I mean, you think that's really ketchup in those little packets? No, mm -hmm. it's not. <laughs> that was one of the things that amazed me when I was over in Ireland. Is there's actually food in their food? <laughs> Like I bought a bag of potato chips and the ingredients were, and I, I, I recite in full potatoes, oil, salt. Does it get the fuck out? No hydrogenated blood of a unicorn. <laughs> like, there's food in their food. And I'm like, and they were really good because they were just fried potatoes with salt. And I'm like, that's insane. This tastes like a potato. That's so strange. I just, yeah. I'm serious. I can imagine this guy just hopping on the internet saying, man, I'm never robbing that bank again. Awful service. Just awful. I asked for 20,000. They gave me 500. Can't they count? One star. One star. Tell your friends. Okay. We've had many go arounds with men trying to look at women when they're doing things you really shouldn't be watching anyone do. Especially the the guy, I still remember that son of a bitch at, at the, the Port of John. Retreat. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay. But, but, you know, he might actually have a pretty OK time in prison, though. But I think this is the first instance. Where this has actually been considered part of the establishment. This comes from Vienna. Uh, <laughs> Vienna Cafe's art project allows men to peek into women's restroom. An Austrian artist has installed a one-way mirror in a Vienna cafe that allows men to peek from their restroom into the ladies' room. Alexander Riegler told the Daily uh, Huit, is that how you say it? H-E-U-T-E, unbad wow. language, told the newspaper Monday that the mirror is an attempt to, quote, stir people into a discussion of voyeurism and surveillance in an era where almost everyone is being watched. Um, you may, you, you think it might not be an attempt to let men watch women when they're on the john? Well, no, it says, look, um, the mirror only shows women at the sink and does not offend any. The, the thing you forget, the thing men forget is that women's rooms are all stalls. We don't, True. we don't, we don't pee in a trough like you on civilized clods. Women's yeah. rooms are all stalls. So unless there's a mirror, like there's no mirror in the stall. So really you're watching a bunch of women like wash their hands and fix their lipstick, which is still a little, I mean, I'm sure there are dudes that get off on that. Oh, but, but you uh, know, there's going to be that one guy who's going to be on the other side of the mirror doing this. But it's not quite as bad as you would think because hey, the stall doors close. And so you're still not watching. that's fucked right? up. That's it's weird and it says they're going to flip the mirror around in January and see this is weird like Monday said that women will get their turn in January when the mirror is reversed to let them look at the men's faces while they stand at the urinal that's more of a problem to me because who wants to be washing their hands and look up and see a guy's pee face you don't want to like, do that conceivably lean over and get a look down if you get just the right angle or some jackass exhibitionist because yeah Oh, that there's a there, there's a lot of dudes who think the world is itching to see their dick yep. is going to pee all over the mirror just to be that guy. Yeah. I'm calling it now. Someone pees all over the mirror. But so I kind of actually think it's worse in reverse. I don't think the women's thing like like I'm not going to freak out if some dude's washing me like wash my hands and put on my lip gloss. I understand art is eccentric. <laughs> Which is a way, which is what you say when rich people are crazy. I understand that. However, this could technically be bordering on a felony if somebody is not aware of what's going on like, when they go in. It does say they put up the sign after people started complaining. The restaurant recently put up a sign advising women that they are part of an art, art project after complaints. That's fucked up. Like, you gotta let people know that shit in advance. You don't yeah. just... But like, because there are people that are going to like, I don't care if someone watches me wash my hands and put on my lipstick, but there are people that will, you know, and I don't begrudge them that. And you've got to let people know that they're a part of that. That's fucked up. Yeah, I'd like to have the option. OK, um, I'm going to go piss into Starbucks. Bye. I yeah. come back later. Yeah, because there's got to be a, there's always a fucking and, Starbucks. I mean, there are crazy people who do like sponge bathes in public bathrooms. I've seen it. There, no, there are those people. That like totally uh, run the place out of paper towels. You see them in the train station and they're not homeless people because I get that. These are like just commuters and shit who strip down and take a sponge bath in the public bathroom. So don't do that. Yeah, you they, could potentially get more than you bargained for. Well, speaking about more than you bargained for, and I'm stretching the segue here. Um... Remember how you kept saying, guys, keep the swords on the walls? Yes. Guess what? We got video. Oh, this comes to us from the uh, Phoenix Light Rail Train. A wannabe samurai scared away two fighters when he unsheathed a katana on the train car. Vigilante the drew. The world does not kill Bill, sir. <laughs> Vigilante drew what appeared to be a samurai sword. I'm putting it on the big screen. Holy crap. Uh, to break up a brawl on a Phoenix Light rail car, the fisticuff ceased once the fighters be beheld the long edge single blade. 
A lot of simple ass pros for a new site. Yeah, there he goes. Got the got the sword out, and it looks like Silent Bob is about to kick their ass. Silent Bob would totally do that too. <laughs> like that's on a cutting room floor somewhere. Yeah. Okay, I admire you saving the guy, sir. That's uh, I yeah. admire this. But you know, you could have left the samurai in the sheath and hit the dude with it too. It's true. Just beat him in the head a few times. They See, but that's me. I'm a bludgeoner at heart. Like I never understand when the girl in the horror movie reaches for the kitchen knife. I'm like, you get yourself a baseball bat because you stab a dude. He's gonna keep chasing you. You shatter a motherfucker's kneecaps. He ain't chasing <laughs> you no more. Yeah, I'm a bludgeoner. On the I, one, I, you bash a dude's skull in. He ain't coming after you again. But on the one hand. Good on you. I approve. I applaud your civic responsibility sense there, sir. On the other hand, why the hell are you carrying a sword in public? Yeah, yeah, that's weird. Now, I will admit this could be a I just happened to have it with me that day because strangely enough, that shit has happened. But you I know what? Friend pulled over and, and ended up getting arrested for like the throwing knives in his glove compartment and the four foot claymore in his trunk. And I think I told that story. Yeah. It does happen. Shouldn't happen. But, you know. On the other hand, I doubt it. I doubt this was just a coinky dink. You're is not he in like, is he in like a costume or anything? Nope. Nope, he's just in a hat and a shirt. Dude, with a okay, yeah. Then Don't maybe he just bought it and was bringing it home. Maybe, but you know, don't. Maybe not. Maybe he's a theater dude, and they were doing a production of no. Shogun Assassin. No, no. But just don't. But I feel like they wouldn't use real katanas for that. That would be dangerous. He was a good. Yeah, good instinct to help. Bad instinct to pull a three foot blade in the middle of a like subway car. That could go wrong a lot of ways. Where are you going to swing the fucking thing? Like you're probably not. Well trained enough. To effectively wield that in such a small space. And the other horrible outcome could have been break up the fight. OK, you guys get away from this guy. He's a good guy. And you should. Oh, whoops. Yeah, like that could that could go wrong a lot of ways. That's that's a big, sharp thing to be just swinging around in an enclosed tube. Yeah, that 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 could have. Don't do this. Don't. This is definitely a don't try this at home. Don't try this in the first fucking place. Don't try it on the subway for fucking sure. Bludgeoning tools, people. Bludgeoning tools. Baseball bat. Baton. I always have a baton nearby. She's not I will, kidding. I will beat the holy fuck out of you with this thing if you mess with me. She ain't kidding. No. So it's time. We haven't had a really good douche quake worthy story in a while. We haven't. I think we we need a Mary Antoinette award in this day and age. Is it Marie Antoinette or Mary? It's it's Marie. Well, it's really you don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> it's a pecan tree, damn it. Anyway, um, we kind of need that award this day uh, because. There there's a saying my father has got more money than sense. And I think this this sums it up nicely. Models on Amber Crombie Jet had rules on proper underwear. Yeah, I saw this. The actor and models wants to buy me a mace. Yes, buy me a mace. That would be amazing. The actor and models who work on an Abercrombie and Fitch Gulfstream Jet had crystal clear rules for serving Chief Executive Officer Michael Jeffries. Clean shaven males had to wear a uniform of Abercrombie polo shirts boxer briefs, flip flops and a quote spritz of the retailer's cologne. OK, OK, S wear all the store stuff. OK, or pants. What? Yeah, I don't see pants listed, but we'll get there um, among the. Yeah, this is part of an age discrimination lawsuit. Among the 40 plus pages of detailed instructions, 
Black gloves had to be used when handling silverware and white gloves to lay the table. The song, quote, Take Me Home had to be played when passengers entered the cabin on return flights. And Jeffrey's dogs, identified in the document as Ruby, Trouble and Sammy, had different se- had different seating arrangements based on which ones were traveling. Now, here's the fucked up thing. The board had to let's see his flying habits. Um, Jeffries had come under fire for his flying habits in 2010. The board agreed to pay him four million dollars to stop using the personal the personal use of the company jet so much. They gave him money to stop spending money. Yeah, you're the board. You can just say you're not allowed to use the jet anymore. You can just say, listen, Bruce Wayne, that tumbler is a real gas guzzler. Only use it when absolutely necessary. Not for joy rides with Rachel Dawes. So apparently what happens here is if you troll them hard enough as a CEO. If you start doing all sorts of crazy things on the jet. They'll give you more money to stop it. This seems like well, a they have crazy dress code rules for the store, too. Yeah. Like they have to wear flip flops in the winter. I feel really bad for the Abercrombie employee because like they, they literally they have to wear flip flops and mini skirts in the winter. The girls and like you can't be above a size two or something. And they pump the their god awful perfume through the air conditioning vent. So the store reeks of it. Like, I don't know why people work there. Do they tell it's, do they tell them what kind of underwear they have to wear? Probably. That's creepy. But like I would watch the girl, I watch the girls in my mall come in in the middle of winter in flip flops and mini skirts because they work there and that's what they're selling in January when it's snowing in Connecticut. Is it essential to job performance in this situation to assure yourself they are in fact wearing your company's underwear? How do they check that? I know. Are there surprise inspections? Do they have the TSA scanner? No, somehow I get the idea that that the CEO believes he can just walk up and say, "Okay, drop him. Although, to be fair, well, the American Apparel CEO certainly does. Um, But to be fair, that it also doesn't say anything about pants. So maybe they're not allowed to wear pants. More money. And they gave him more money to stop making. This is not how you spend money. No. You know what you do? You say, hey, we're the board of directors. No. Just, yeah, just take the keys away from your douchebag kid. Tell him he can't use the car. (sighs) This last one. This is kind of horrible. I apologize. I apologize to you at home, and I apologize to you, Tara, for this story. But it's funny. But it's awful. But it's funny. from Naples, which is Florida. Man fought with officers defecated in pants. Golden Gate man was arrested Tuesday in an overdue rental van after employees say he hit two vehicles, punched a police officer and defecated in his pants. Police is that a crime now? Uh, please soiling yourself a crime in Florida because bestiality wasn't until a short time ago. So that'd be weird. <laughs> They're looking for what they were looking for. William David Little after trailer have neighbors at a trailer park. So they watched him hit a car. Um, they say little almost hit pedestrians as he sped away. Shortly afterward, officers uh, saw a 2012 Ford van with its driver's side mirror missing, which masked the suspect's vehicle's description. The officer stopped the van and when it parked at a nearby McDonald's, when Little saw the officer's approach, he started the engine to put the van in reverse. The officer opened the door and told Little he was under arrest. Little punched the officer who returned to punch and was struck and by the driver's side door. Little continued to struggle with officers till he was placed into arrest while taking Wait, pictures. So the van stopped when it hit the patrol car. Was all this happening while the van was moving? Because call Jason Statham and make that movie now. <laughs> Well, while taking pictures of his injuries, the officers noted Little had defecated in his pants. 
So apparently as a form of protest being arrested for punching a cop and smashing cars, he crapped his pants. That'll show him. Yeah. You, you know what, sir? You, you may have been arrested. You, you may have been taken into custody. You may have been manhandled by the police. But after this act, you walk with your head held high because you defied them with your butt. <laughs> and sat in your own smelly, warm crap for God knows how long. You have to. That was worth it. I gotta wonder. Yeah, it, it, you know, how does this plan form in one's head, mind? It doesn't. I like that the Enchanted Channel is now spamming the pants to be darkened oh, joke from yeah. and review. Yeah. Over and over and over. <sighs> oh, the police couldn't turn a brown eye to his actions. Awkward agent. Really, don't do that. Don't do that. Also, brown eye is a whole different euphemism. It's a whole different thing, yes. Whole different thing. But why, why would you... <laughs> this had to pop into his head as he's in the middle of being arrested. I don't want to be arrested. Being arrested sucks. Hey, you know what would be a good idea? I can just imagine the angel Maybe and the it devil. Didn't. Maybe he just really had to go. No. Nah. Maybe it wasn't a protest thing. Maybe. Okay, well, no, to be fair, he was at McDonald's. So, yeah. I had McDonald's for lunch and I managed not to defile myself, okay? You ain't had the big breakfast. The big breakfast is evil. It's it's half grease. I had my double cheeseburger on my way down to see my mom today. And I'm just fine. Thank you very no, much. I'm just I'm imagining him sitting there going, I should do something. And there's the angel and the devil. One of them goes, shit in your pants. And the angel goes, yeah, shit in your pants! Because that, that strikes me, this kind of guy. Also, and I know I should not comment on people's physical appearances because that has no indication of whether they're they're smart, dumb, wise, imbeciles, crazy, whatnot. But sir, where is your neck? Henry Rollins is looking at you and going, Damn! I think it got eaten by his ears. <laughs> I apologize for that. That was awful. That was bad of me. But still, good Lord, man. I'm sorry. He shit in his pants while being arrested. I have a little room to mock him. So I guess, you know, the things you should. Uh, yeah, the first thing we learned this week is the things you should do when being arrested is perhaps consider who you're going to call, attain the services of a lawyer, not number two, not make a number two, not make a boom boom in your pants. Don't do that. Yeah, no. Don't don't. That's that's not a no, no. We learned because, don't work for Abercrombie. Yeah, if if you work for Abercrombie and Fritch, um, random, random underpants inspections. I actually have a friend that did work for Abercrombie for a while and he hated it for all those reasons, like. They would give him shit if he didn't wear their clothes. His their clothes didn't fit him. Just, just out of curiosity, did they have a company salute by any chance? You know, just, no, maybe just 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 throwing it out there, throwing it out there. Um. Ah, uh, let's see. We learned that if you have a samurai sword and are not in fact a samurai nor trained in the art of the samurai, the best place for that sword. You know what? No, even if you are, don't take that shit out on the subway. I don't care if you are Uma Thurman and Kill Bill. I don't care if you're any person from any white people do your Asian culture better than you movie. I don't care if you're Ken Watanabe. I'm sorry. I don't buy can, for one moment. You leave that shit at home. I don't buy for one moment that Uma Thurman could kick Lucy Liu's ass. Either way, I don't buy it for one fucking minute. Ever. I don't care how well trained you are. I don't care if you're that guy who leads the bullpen fight team and runs in ahead of the crazy eight, eight and screams because he's probably pretty goddamn good with a sword. Hmm. You don't bust that shit out on the subway. That is impolite. <laughs> you say you're sorry for pulling the sword on the subway. Um, it was someone, OK, Will Jr. said, what if you're Batman? Batman isn't real. 
Batman's also not a samurai. It's like, well, according to the movie. Okay, with the Christopher Nolan movies, yes, he is. Batman, but Batman is to my it knowledge, real? I am unaware of any incarnation of Batman who carried a, a katana in his utility belt. Batman isn't real. Why are you hung up on this one a minute ago? You were like, Uma Thurman couldn't beat up Lucy Liu. I'm talking for really real. You look at Lucy Liu. She kick her stick bitch ass. I'm just saying. Well, okay, but the bride isn't real either. No. Nor is over. No, but it, it, you get those two drunk enough to the point there's a throwdown. Lucy Liu be doing some damage is all I'm saying. Okay, there's a Batman samurai. <laughs> Still. Arthur Brundage, my friend, look for him on Yelp, ladies and gentlemen. Arthur Brundage. Because he will be rating your establishment for robbery. Will not you know rob Arthur again. Brundage, you just shouldn't rob the Goblin Bank. They are notoriously stingy, those goblins. I await your emails and letters. What? I've pissed off the Goblin community now? <laughs> I'm really worried about that. I think it's going to be okay. <sighs> and finally, we've learned that in my day, when you put on sunscreen, you didn't catch on fire. That was how it was, and that was how we liked it. That's how Dad did it. That's how America does it. And it's worked pretty well, so... <laughs> <laughs>